I'm using drums. We teach programming in my classes, so I decided that I would try to make it more fun by buying drones and we're using tablets to do block-based programming with these parrot drones so that students can kind of get a feel for the programming logic. The, the drones that we have have a grabber and they have another attachment so they can simulate combat, they can have drone races, they, they program to do shapes in the air, they can program it to take a photo, to take a video, um, to solve an obstacle course, and they really have gotten into it. So first of all, you have to have some sort of tablet device, either an Apple device or an Android device, and you of course have to have a drone. We use a program called Tinker. Tinker is a blog-based coding language, and it really helps with students. So many of my students have no coding experience at all. So I started with something that was blog-based so that the, to alleviate any fears that they would have so they could start with that, and they understand the logical steps to creating code and then we can move into more traditional code later on, but this is a great place to start for someone who has no experience. They, it's drag and drop, they drag code blocks into place, and they set it up almost like Legos, and they build them together. If you wanna see how that looks, let's start it. So um, this is my code and um, as you can see for the drone to take off you need the start on start button and then the take off code and for this particular code I'm going to flip forward three times and then land so as you saw in the shot pretty cool. Um, I'm going to look at my other code the first one. And, um, oh, no, that's the one I just did. For this one, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on. So I turned right, left, and then you can do all kinds of things like flip forward, go up, go down. And if you, oh, if I can find it. Each drone has a different color, like this one's blue. Like some motions have different colors also. You'll learn to figure out what the things are. So, all code needs an on start and a takeoff and then a land. Because if you don't put a takeoff, the drone won't go anywhere. And if you don't put a land, it will just hover until you stop the code. And the on start is for this little orange button in the corner. So when you hit it, the drone will do whatever you told it to do. Um, I have all kinds of different codes here. Like for this one, I drew a square with the drone. And this one, I have these buttons that I press. So for this code, whenever I hit the on start button and I start hitting all these different buttons, there's different code for each button so if I hit the green one it'll do a flip five times and if I hit the purple one it'll flip and go up and down or really whatever I tell it to do um, for this particular one I set the speed to 50 because you can change the speed on things or the speed of the drone some people try and make it over 100, but 100 is the max. Um, with some drones, you can take a picture, and with our particular drone, we did. For this one, I took a picture of the floor. Or it actually took a picture of the sky because I made it flip and then take a picture. So that's pretty cool. And for this one, my class made an obstacle course. It was a For this one, this is probably my first ever code. It, I don't know what I was doing. I don't know why this is an actor, but that's just to show like how easy it is to write code.
pretty much it's just common sense. You might need to learn a few things or what certain buttons and certain things do, but other than that, it should be pretty easy and anybody can learn code. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Like, I would suggest anybody, like, even if you were in elementary school, you could do code, or someone who doesn't really know about computers, you can learn code. That's really what I like, like, really what got me into this field and wanted to pursue it later on. So the best way to contact me is through email. You'll get a timely response, and I can get back to you. Um, about whatever you need. My email is delgadioc at btcs.org.